everybody Anne here well it's nice and warm and toasty inside the tiny house but I got to go outside and it snowed oh, snow is everywhere it is freezing my hands are double gloved and I'm already freezing sorry I'm panning so fast I just need to get out of this cold let the chickens out just for a little bit do some stuff in their coop oh. let's see if they're even gonna want to come out I know you guys it's different you don't have to come out if you don't want to it's all right I'm gonna take their water inside. Yep, they're going back in. They're like, nope, 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 nope. Well, now I can sit here and have my coffee with all of you. Yeah, when I filmed that, it was about 7, 7.30 or so. Um, and I just wanted to get out there to make sure the chickens made it through the night and they all made it through the night. And their water just had a very thin layer of ice. Actually, what I did is I got a bigger tub um, with handles, I don't know, it holds two or three gallons, got it from the dollar store. And filled that up and put it in their coop and um, there was a little bit of stuff in it and whatnot but just a very very thin layer of ice they could have pecked right through it if they would want to but what I did do is um, I just brought the dish tub in from yesterday inside put fresh water in it just a little bit of warm water because I didn't want it hot water or really warm water um, but I just didn't want it to be freezing cold um, because I think warm water actually freezes a little bit faster than than cold water but so I took fresh water out to them, gave them some more food. They don't want to come out of the coop, so I just uh, opened a window, cracked a window um, away from where they roost to give them some ventilation. I'm so cold, my brain is like frozen, I can't even think. Um, and I gave them lots of yummy food, and I'll go out in a little while and check and see if they've laid any more eggs and make sure their water isn't frozen. Um, the solar panels were completely covered. Right now, we've only got a light dusting, but they're supposed to. It's supposed to snow all day, so I'm hoping that this is it. I'm hoping that they're exaggerating. Um, I I did think that they were exaggerating the the weather people. I didn't think it was going to get this cold, but it has. And um, thank goodness for my wood burning stove. That's all I got to say. Thank goodness for that wood burning stove. I mean, I've got the buddy heater too, but. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen for the rest of the day. I imagine it's just going to be a cycle of everything I already did today. Checking on the chickens, making sure their water isn't frozen, and dusting off the um, solar panels. They've got, I mean, they were complete. And it wasn't, I couldn't just dust them off. I had to scrape them. It was frozen on ice and snow. Uh, so I imagine I'll have to do that a couple more times today. Um and then otherwise it's just indoor stuff. So I don't know. I may get back with you a little bit later if I come up with something interesting. But I don't think there's going to be anything interesting going on today. Well, this is me <laughs> inside my tiny house. It's cold, but it's not like frigid cold in here. And I have to keep getting up and stoking the fire. But this is what it looks like inside this tiny house right now. It's kind of dark, so you probably won't be able to see very good. But I want to show you the fire. I'm covered up with my 12-volt blanket and another blanket i got the fire going over there phew yeah that ashtray that that uh whatever ash bucket that donna b gave me oh that is just so wonderful i love it i've got kindling fire starters all over the place uh let's see if you can see papa papa's over there sleeping can you see him it's probably kind of blurry but Yep, I haven't broken down all those boxes yet. I've got to get that done because I'm almost out of them. Actually, I have found with the fire starters, I really don't have to burn all that much cardboard, but I like to have it around just in case I can't get something going. But that screen is great. Um, if smoke starts coming in, then it's time to close the door. Um, it's been working so good, you guys. So very good. I'm just blessed, blessed by that stove. There's my buddy heater. There's more wood over there. There's my messy kitchen. Some more chicken bedding and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> I got stuff down by, by the door over there. Mm, scrambled eggs. Yeah. I just cracked basically all the ones that were laid in the last day. I figure why not. Um, there's seven eggs in there. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to share some with Papa. Ketchup. Yep. It's obligatory. It's about noon and I came back out here. Remember, I already had one brown egg. Look at the rest of them all laid eggs today in the winter in the freezing cold. Yay! On another note, they are not wanting to go outside. That water's a little dirty, but that's okay. 
I just put a little bit of warm water in there and it wasn't even frozen, so that's good. It'll freeze overnight, but they are not going outside. They're smarter than that. Whew, this is what it looks like, you guys. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a lot to many of you. Let me be careful getting down here. But it's pretty huge to the people out here in Tennessee because they don't have the systems in place nor the resources to do the road shoveling like they do in Ohio. I mean, in Ohio, they're like on it. The night before a winter storm rolls in, they are already laying down salt and whatnot. And then throughout the next few days, however long it takes, the trucks are always out on the road. But it's not like that here in Tennessee. So basically everything has come to a stop. Nobody's on the road. It's actually very dangerous to try and get out. Look at that, the truck's all frozen. <laughs> I should try and start it. I started it yesterday. Yep, I'm gonna have to go clean off those solar panels again. Phew, never ending. <laughs> but it looks kind of pretty. Yeah, let me just get capture a, a little glimpse of the tiny house in the snow in case this never happens again. It's pretty, you guys, but it is gosh darn cold. It is so cold, and this is not gonna stop. And right now, what's coming down is a combination of snow and ice. Huh. Look at that, yeah, neighbor, <laughs> neighbor squatter is still there. So the chickens are warm inside there. They're just fine. I don't need to worry about them. I need to go clean off those solar panels. Oh, what a chore. This may be hard to see because I'm holding it sideways, but the big solar setup uh, with all the solar panels, the big panels, I just uncovered them and now the batteries are up to 95%. Thank you. And the smaller setup, maybe hard to see, 12.1. So for this battery, that's probably, I don't know, that's not that great, but it hit something. It's better than it was. It was only like 11.9. So whew, it's a lot of work, but it is worth it. I gotta tell you guys, I honestly didn't think it was gonna get this bad. I mean, you never know what the weather's gonna do out here. It did say it on weather.com, but a lot of times they're wrong, but they're not wrong this time. It's cold and it's gonna get down to four, four overnight, I think. But one thing I have recognized is that when I go outside and I'm moving around, it's super duper cold for a little bit, but after our, I keep moving around, you know, going out and taking care of the chickens and wiping off the solar panels, hauling more wood and whatnot, um, I warm up. So I think what I need to do is just keep moving. I don't know if I can make clearer space to do some aerobics. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Shoot. 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 That's what the lady in college used to say when we were doing that part. I remember I only got to go outside one more time today let Papa outside again go check the chickens check their water make uh, I'm gonna give him some corn for overnight and check the solar panels uh, I'm if they're covered up again I will probably go ahead and dust them off again because it'll be just that much less work <laughs> tomorrow morning I can't wait to see what it's gonna be like overnight I just ah, like I said it's gonna get down to four but you know what I'm handling it just fine. If I keep moving, if I just sit and do nothing and just, you know, I mean, wrapping up in blankets is one thing, but even after a while, you just start getting cold. So if I get my blood flowing, um, I'm going to be just fine. And uh, yeah, so I had some scrambled eggs today. I don't know what I'm going to make tonight. I may get the 
the oven out and bake something. I don't know. I'm just going to have to figure it out. Um, I brought in more wood. I brought in the other propane tank and I am set for the night. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.